Welcome everyone, my name is Michael and today I'm going to be showing you how I mix my recipe for cloud pours. Um, this recipe is very versatile, you can get your cloud pour paintings, your pearl paintings, your pearl cells out of this, you can get your ghostly pours, thank you Denny Joe. Um, you can see the supplies right here, it's not too crazy, it's not a lot of parts just takes a lot of supplies. Um, this is probably one of the most needed supplies. It's the Deco Art Satin Enamels. Get to know this for these kind of paintings. Um, I guess let's just get started. And like I said, it's gonna be very easy. It, it works out great. All right, so let's put our cup down here on the scale. We're just gonna do three parts coming up. You're gonna see very easy. So the first part here is going to be my pouring medium. Now, this is just my basic pouring medium. Um, the recipe is on the channel, of course. It's the 70-30 mix, and I am just gonna put one fluid ounce in. All right, oh, <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna, it's not gonna be exact all the time. Could be 1.1. Let's see what happens, okay? Okay, you're still at 120. Let's drop it down. And that's good enough. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now I'm gonna add in our folk art multi-surface satin. Okay, you can get this at Michael's, Amazon, anywhere. Okay, very easy. We're gonna put in now equal parts, one to one right here. So I wanna put one fluid ounce in of this. Oh, we love these sounds, guys. They're beautiful, right? All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like using this instead of maybe the titanium white, even though this is a titanium white over my um, Amsterdam. I, I use this, I like it. Okay, so we have one-to-one -one in there now. So that was the folk art multi-surface satin. Okay, now we're gonna add in the most important part of this, and that is gonna be the Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels, all right? And we do this because of the oils inside of this. This is the whole reason we're actually using this one product is because of it's an enamel, so it has oils. That's why we're gonna use it. So let's give it a good stir here. We stirred it before, but now what I'm gonna do is it is gonna be a one-to-one -one mix, but you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here. I'm only gonna put 0.75 of the Deco Art satin enamels. Look how thick that is, right? Slow, probably just a little more, all right? Bring that right up. Oh, there we go. It's gonna be slightly over now, okay? All right, so. This stuff's messy. Let's clean this up here. Okay, there we go, guys. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in this situation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the rest up to that one fluid ounce with the Deco Art gloss enamels, just to add a little different texture in, okay? Now, I also did not mix this either, because I'm gonna mix it all at once. Just like, just like making a big old open pot of stew. We did go a little over, not a big deal. This stuff's great. All right, now I am gonna mix it up, okay? So it was, it's basically this. One part of the pouring medium, okay? one part of your paint, which was the folk art multi-surface satin, okay? And the third full part is the enamels. It's, you can use full satin enamels, that's fine. I just mix it up a little just to give this a different feel. All right, so you wanna mix this really well. Those satin enamels take a little bit of time to mix in, especially since you've added your flow trial. You have water in there, you have gloss enamels, you have paint. 
everything has to mix together. So we're just gonna mix it real fast. Okay, now we're gonna add in the last piece. Now, I don't measure this part, okay? I am just gonna literally take this. This is the Liquitex Professional Pouring Medium. Not gloss, just regular medium. And what I wanna do is I wanna sprinkle it on top. You can put a full layer if you want. You could zigzag it a little. I'm gonna do a little zigzaggy. All right, and I'm just gonna get a feel for it. There we go. And again, you're just adding another dimension to this white just to change it up. All right, let's put this back over here, mix this up, and uh, let's do a little pour for you guys, okay? You can see how this works. And I also wanna show you guys how to do the consistency on this as well. So let's see the consistency so far. Okay, so this is the consistency you're getting with the 70-30 mix, which is 70% float draw, 30% water. It's just my basic mix. I do that mix instead of going float draw and then mixing water and later to thin it down. I, I'm just comfortable knowing where that mix is at every time and knowing that I'm gonna get consistent, you know, pour every time, just like this. This is actually slightly thicker, I think, than my paints that I'm gonna use for this pour. So let's see, here's my paints. That's not too bad, they're pretty close. Now we're gonna do a little test, okay? So I do wanna grab a little swath of paper here. And I'm gonna put my white down. Now the rest of my paints are all equal. I did test on these before. Look at that, the white is runny. So let's see how fast this white is gonna run. So we're gonna put some white here, okay? And let's do it with our light blue permanent so you can see it against it. That's runny too. They're running about the same, it looks like, I think. Let's see. I'm gonna put a little here, all right. An extra, okay. Now, let's see. We're gonna run them at the same time. We're gonna see how fast each one's gonna run. Yeah, that white, I think, is slightly thick like I thought, see? Even the blue is a little thick today, but we're fine. Do a nice little cloud pour. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of water, just to thin it, just for feel. I don't even wanna go too crazy. It doesn't need to get thin. All right, so we added in the water. Let's mix it back up. All right, here we go. Nice little mix here. And let's clear out our stuff and we'll do a little quick pour for you. Let's see how this works. All right, I'm happy with this. I'm not gonna measure. I'm happy with this. Okay, let's clean this up. All right, say bye to the scale. All right, say bye to the paints. Ooh, making a mess. Yeah, see, that enamel. All right, bye to the supplies. There we go, keep that off to the side. We got our popsicle sticks always everywhere. And I am gonna bring in a flow extender again. It's about running the same as my paints. Now my paints are the same. They're always mixed with my medium, 70-30. And this is a one to a half. So I do one part of medium to a half part of paint. And I actually thin these out just a little, just for this pour. Now, popsicle stick again. Here's our little eight by eight we're gonna do today. Let's see how this turns out, okay? All right, a little eight by eight in here. Let's do a quick test to make sure we're level. It's looking good. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is just more of a test anyway, so let's do that. Bring in our cup. All right, now, here is our lovely cloud mix. And, okay. I want to end my cloud mix with this blue, but I am gonna put a little bit of white on the bottom. So let's start off with a little bit of white, just on the bottom. And this one I'm not gonna pour with a tilt. I'm just gonna put the white in the bottom. Now, let's start off with our colors. We have our light blue permanent. 
Let me go right in here. All right. Nice. Now, I'm going to go with our dioxazine purple in here. And now I'm going to throw another ring of this white, but lightly. All right. Because this stuff takes over. Now, I like that purple on the one side. Let's draw a little pink on this side. Just a little. All right, I got the pink there. And we're gonna do a light blue violet. By the way, guys, that was not pink. It was a light magenta. Close. And here we go. Now, this time I'm gonna do three colors. So I am gonna come back in with the dioxazine purple, and then we're gonna try to speed this up a little by hand, not even by the video, because I want to talk through this a little, because I like these pores. Little, just a little white, little white. We're gonna add some more pink. Coming with our light blue permanent, because I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of white right here. All right. I like having like a phthalo blue in here, and I don't have it in here today. So we're gonna lean on this dioxazine purple as our phthalo to give us that darkness. So let's see how this works out. We don't have to go too crazy. This is not a big canvas, but I do want to have enough little cloud fingerlings to show you guys how the it reacts in the painting. All right, let's, again, let's go back with that dark contrast there. And let's start to finish it up. And when you get towards the end, you kind of want to Fill up the cup as much as you can with your colors and not as much of the white. I'm gonna put a smidge more of the white down. I don't have a lot of weight in this, but you'll see. It's probably gonna come out crazy with the white. All right, let's put the, let's fill this up and then we're gonna do a nice pour. All right, boom. And first down is gonna be our purple. Okay, purple's done. Now, that's good. Put that there. And I'm messy, woo -hoo. Let's bring in our flow extender, because we're probably gonna need that. Just in case we need that, we're gonna put it right there. All right, guys, here we go. Let's try this out. I guess we're just, uh, uh, I wanted to do a waterfall pour, but let's just do like a, like a little ring. Can I get those? Cloud fingers like this, watch. Let's oh, see. Is that input a lot of white? Where's the white? Mm, I actually don't see the white at all. Oh, maybe the white's really thin today. Oh, that's gonna look weird, huh? Let's see. White is gonna be crazy today, huh? Oh, the white really reacted with the cells. And this came out more like a pearl mix. Let's see if we can get a good Good cloud design here. I'm getting these little, little ringy clouds. All right. Oh, here we go. Here's some more white. Okay. There we go. All right. There we go. Put that to the side. I'm gonna use a little bit of flow extender here, so I can stretch this and get those clouds going in there. I think our clouds ended up being a little thin. Not a big deal. Worst case scenario, you end up getting nice pearl cells, as you can see, like that. So, really no downside. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Let's stretch now. I'm not gonna do a quick stretch. I'm just gonna do a slow stretch. I wanna see if we can get some of these clouds popping up, even though I made it too thin. I'm gonna stretch. I kind of, kind of for these pearl pores, not pearl pores, the cloud pores, or any of these pores actually, I like working on slightly bigger canvases than this. This is too small. It's just not giving me the chance to stretch anything out. And it's gonna turn out more, end up turning out more like a pearl pour 
than a cloud pour. Although you are getting those cloudy cells in there. But yeah, wow, did the pearls really come out in this, huh? So that was a product of making the white just a little thin. Got a little too confident. I do like the clouds in this though. They're just not as prominent. So here's the cells. We want to bring these cells back in. Oh, I want to bring this. Oh, I'm going to stretch these clouds out now. And we're trying to make them cloudy to one side. Okay, let's drop it down. Okay, here. And then we're going to bring this back up. That way you got like a cloudy look to it. And you can keep your cells shape. If we can bring it back to the center correctly, we can keep those pro cells. All right, guys. So I didn't get the winged cloud fingers that we wanted, but I did get some really nice pro cells. So again, the mix is very versatile. I just under mixed the white. Okay, there we go. Put that right there. Now we can go down for a close up and we can wrap this up. Um, hopefully, yeah, very easy. Try to make it at home. You can do this a little thicker on the white than I just made here. Um, but when you get in for the close-up, you'll get to see how nice the detail of this white is. Even though they're not puffy clouds and more pearl cells, you'll get to see the detail of how nice this mix works. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, let's go in for a close-up and we'll see you guys later.